Hi everyone, I'm Shantanu, Robotics and Machine Learning Specialist here at Trust in Robotics. Welcome back to our series, Robotics and Machine Learning Guide. In today's video, we are going to cover how to perform training and evaluation of the ACT policy. In the previous video, we saw how to perform data collection using the Aloha Kit. Now that we have collected the data, we can go ahead and train our policy. To do so, first we'll need to clone the GitHub repository provided by Interbotics. The link to the repository is provided in the description below. Open your terminal and run the command git clone, the link to the repository, followed by the name of the folder you want to clone the repository in. Once you have cloned the folder, you can go ahead and install the virtual environment. You can also use Conda if you prefer. To install the virtual environment, copy the command given in the readme file of the repository. Once the installation is successful, you can go ahead and create your own virtual environment using the command python3-mvn act. Now let us activate our virtual environment using the command source act bin activate. Now we'll go ahead and install the dependencies that are mentioned in the readme file. To do so, copy the packages given in the readme file and paste them in your terminal. The installation takes a few minutes and we'll be back after the short while. Once the installation is complete, we also need to install the module which contains the model definitions for the ACT policy. To do so, navigate to the repository and find the folder named DETR. Inside this folder, run the command pip install hyphen E space period. This will install the module in your virtual environment. Our setup is now complete. Now we can move to a new terminal and start our training process. Before we begin our training, make sure to source your ROS environment using the command source opt ROS humble setup.bash. We also need to source our Interbotics workspace. To do so, run source Interbotics install setup.bash. Now that we have sourced our ROS environment, we can go ahead and activate our virtual environment using the command source ACT bin activate. To start the training process, we recommend the following system specifications. You can use the imitate episode script to start the training process. Now let's understand what each of these parameters mean. The first argument specifies the name of the task. This directory contains the AGF5 episodes located in the Aloha data folder. The checkpoint directory saves the checkpoints during the training. This is where the best checkpoint is fetched during the evaluation. The KL weight helps balance the trade-off between exploration and exploitation. A high weight value encourages the policy to stay close to the current policy, leading to a slower exploration and a potential local aftermath. This is beneficial in complex environments where the policy needs to refine its behavior. A low weight value allows more free exploration, leading to faster learning, but with the increased risk of instability and poor performance. Chunk size determines the length of sequence in each chunk. K equal 1 corresponds to no action chunking. K equal episode length in RK650 corresponds to fully open loop control. 
where Darbar outputs the entire episode's action sequence based on the first observation. Performance improves significantly from K equal 1 to K equal 100, then slightly tapers with a higher value. A slight dip is noticed at K equal 200 and then at K equal 400. Due to a lack of reactive behavior and difficulty in modeling long action sequences. A larger batch size can lead to faster training times but may result in slower conversions to good solutions due to lo potential local optima. A smaller batch size can provide better generalization but can be computationally expensive and time consuming. The number of epochs affect the policy's training. Too many epochs can result in overfitting and too few ebooks may not allow the policy to learn effectively. A high learning rate can lead to fast conversions initially but may cause overshooting the optimal solution and poor conversions. A low learning rate can lead to slow conversions but may provide more stable and accurate optimization process. We train the model with the following parameters. The batch size is kept small with large number of epochs for better generalization. The training takes about four and a half hours on our system. Once the training is complete, we can start the evaluation process. To evaluate the model, run the same immediate episode script with the same parameters as training. Add the eval flag and the temporal lag flag if required. This will set the script into evaluation mode where the best checkpoint is loaded and used for the policy. The policy will then output the joint commands to the robot based on the observations. The temporal ag flag will enable temporal ensemble. Here is a visualization of our policy with and without the temporal ensemble. Without the temporal ensemble, we achieve a choppy and fast motion. However, with the temporal ensemble, the motion is smooth and slow. Finally, here is the demonstration for a block pickup experiment. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more updates about new videos.